We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Mr. Farooqi, who is Chairman of the Telecom Commission for India. Mr. Farooqi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Nice being with you. I'd like to start off by asking you about this conference, the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014. It's once every four years. Uh, the previous one was in Hyderabad. Uh, I'd like to find out from you what has changed uh, since the last conference and what is the state of play at the moment? Well, one thing is that I'm very happy to see that Hyderabad Action Plan and Hyderabad Declaration are all being pursued very diligently and the suggestions given by the participants there are being acted upon. But you know, we must recognize that this is a sector in which the technology is moving at such a, such a, such a pace that you know, every four years you need to look at it again. And the second thing is that its relevance to the society is changing exponentially. So I think that is another area which has to be looked at. It's no longer a technology which is just of use for somebody. It's a technology which has got a great driving force for the society. So I think this, these last four years were very exciting, but the next four years are going to be many, many times more exciting and challenging. Why is this particular conference important, do you think? I think one very important thing is that voice which used to be major driver for telecom in the past, has actually had more or less played out. And now is the time for data to embark upon a similar miraculous you know, exponential growth. And therefore, this is very, very important because data has a reach and importance which goes far beyond communication. It has great relevance for, you know, uh, uh, removing uh, inequalities, it is for a financial inclusion, as we are seeing in some of the countries. It has got great role in education, in increasing the reach for education and health. So I think this is going to open up a completely new dimension. The second thing is that we have still not seen the whole thing play out. There's going to be many more things now with the internet, uh, you know, internet of things, the machine-to-machine -machine communication. So there is going to be a need for much greater firmness, much greater reliability in communication. If you have machine-to-machine -machine communication, you naturally have to be sure that you know, it doesn't fail. So I think these are all challenges where interconnectivity and global cooperation becomes even more important. So I think WTDC in that sense is, and also its, you know, its focus on, on broadband. I think together, these are going to be really landmark uh, events for the telecommunication. You quite rightly mentioned that broadband. Broadband for sustainable development is very much a theme for this conference. What are the particular regional concerns in India with regards to this? Well, I think the first and foremost, I would say, uh, is, is the question of uh, reach, accessibility, and then second, I would say, is affordability. You know, and these two would together define how, how much the broadband can actually be an effective driver of sustainable growth in the world. Because if you see today, Many places, while broadband is available, its use is largely confined to to the to the affluent few, and also into the to the cities rather than to the villages. So in India, we have actually embarked on upon a very very ambitious project. We are going to connect 250,000 villages uh, at an estimated cost of about uh, let's say about four to five uh, in between about four to five billion dollars U.S. dollars. And that is going to actually, in our way, a game changer in terms of what broadband can do for the masses. And so, uh, in terms of the outcomes for this conference, what outcomes would you like to see come from here? Well, I would say that, you know, this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is an important thing because we would like some of these thoughts to be reflected in the strategic plan because we would like this to, to go to the plenipotentiary in a very positive frame so that the, the, the entire, you know, the broadband, the potential broadband to revolutionize and change for the better the lives of the people can be actually uh, given uh, effect, can be uh, put into practice and uh, completely adopted by the plenipotentiary. Mr. Faruqi, thank you very much for being with us today. It was a pleasure talking to you.
and thank you too.